welcome to my channel. Today I was actually dreaming of those days when we used to order food from outside and used to hog on to it, binge on to those super yummy, soft, delicious desserts which used to melt in our mouths the minute we took a bite of it. And today was one of those days when my children were also having such cravings. So at this moment when my children are after me to make such yummy treats, what do I do? I hit on to my baking item and I am going to share the same with you. A super yummy, delicious and amazingly easy recipe of a chocolate fudge gooey brownie with full of walnuts which will make you healthy and strong. So come, I will show you how it's done. So here we need some super easily available ingredients at home. And let's begin. Now we are taking our one full cup of walnuts, super powerful, will make you strong and your children healthy. And I am going to roast it for around 20 to 30 seconds. Once done, I am going to put it on the chopping board and chop them coarsely. Since I'm on the chopping board, I'm, I have taken my chocolate bar, I've hidden it of course from my children and chopping it roughly. I've taken one cup of chopped chocolate, half cup of butter and I'm going to now melt it using the two boiler method. I find it so satisfying and soothing to look at the chocolate melt. Now I have taken one cup of hung curd followed by one cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to whisk it with my fork. You can of course use a whisk. Okay now I'm adding my chocolate and butter mixture to it and now the recipe becomes dangerously easy. <laughs> going to mix it and put in all my other ingredients like one teaspoon of vanilla essence, half cup of maida or all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, oh okay mine just got finished and one teaspoon of baking powder. Yay, we are almost at the end. We are going to mix, mix, mix. And mix some more. Now we will add our walnuts, not all at a time. And again mix. Mix and add, mix and add. Okay, some more walnuts to be added. And I have kept some for the finishing touch. And yay, we are done. smells good now I've taken my baking tin it's better if you have a square tin but I didn't have one so I've taken a heart shaped one now pour the batter settle it down and garnish it with our yummy walnuts I have taken too much to make it super healthy recipe you can use accordingly now I'm going to bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. And mm, my whole house is smelling of yummy brownie already. And voila, it's done. Check it out. The texture is so cool. Oh, by the way, cool it for 2-3 hours to have best results. <laughs> See, it's done and gone. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Wasn't it super simple? And it got finished by the time I washed my hands. Like, whoa. <laughs> so hope your children enjoy the same too. Till then.